The Tesla Model 3 is one of the most popular electric vehicles on the market. Since its launch in 2017, Tesla has sold almost a million Model 3s worldwide. With its sleek design and long range, consumers are only becoming more and more interested. I purchased my 2021 Tesla Model 3 in December of 2020. After owning my car for almost six months now, I'm going to give you all the reasons of why to buy a Tesla Model 3. I'm going to start with the cost of ownership. To me, this includes the price of the car and also the gas or electricity that's needed to fuel it. Today, I'm going to use the BMW 330i sedan as a comparison to the Tesla Model 3 because its price is very comparable. The BMW 330i sedan starts at $41,250 and gets 26 city and 36 highway and uses premium gas. The Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus actually is cheaper and starts at $38,990 and gets 263 miles in range. Now on to fuel. The average price of gas in the United States currently is $3.49 a gallon. With an average of 31 miles per gallon for the BMW 330i to drive 20,000 miles, it would cost $2,251.60. The Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus gets an MPG equivalent of 141 miles per gallon, using the same formula as the BMW with premium gas. 20,000 miles in the Tesla would cost $495.03. If you are someone who commutes to work or drives around a lot locally, then the Tesla Model 3 could save you a decent amount of money compared to other luxury sedans. Also, the Tesla Model 3 compared to other EVs is actually pretty affordable. Next, you should buy a Tesla Model 3 because it's held its value unbelievably well over the last three years. The BMW 330i sedan depreciated about 18% after the first year and 38% after three years, while the Tesla Model 3 only depreciated 10.2% over the last three years. Now don't get me wrong, I don't think that this low depreciation rate will hold over the next three years. I think it initially was like that because of the low availability of the Tesla. And then also now it is, seems like that the Tesla Model 3 from three years ago in terms of range is still comparable to new EVs on the market today, also able to then hold its value. But I do think that the depreciation rate will rise because there are other EVs coming on the market and also the range is getting a little bit more competitive. But I do still think that the, there is a market for used electric vehicles and so therefore I don't think that the Tesla Model 3 depreciation rate will reach that of the BMWs. Next, we have range and we can't talk about an EV without talking about how far it can go. So the Tesla Model 3 standard range can go 263 miles and the Tesla long range can go 353 miles. Compared to other EVs on the market, which are only going around 230 miles average range. So Tesla is just blowing other EV manufacturers out of the water in terms of range. Now do keep in mind that just because it says you can go that far doesn't mean that you can go that far. Tesla's in particular say that you should charge about up to 80%. So you can only really use about 80% of that range daily. Now you can charge higher than that, but it's not suggested that you do that often. Also the battery does depreciate over time. So you do lose mileage as the car does get older and as you put miles on the car. Then we have autopilot. Autopilot is huge for me and it has really elevated my driving experience. All Teslas come with autopilot. Autopilot is a much more advanced version of cruise control that enhances safety and convenience for drivers. Autopilot will keep you in the center of your lane, keep a safe distance from cars in front of you, and slow down or speed up accordingly, and will use the Tesla's cameras and sensors to detect potential accidents. About every five to 20 seconds, the car will want you to apply light pressure to the steering wheel to ensure that you have both hands on the wheel. Now, autopilot is not the same thing as full self-driving. Full self-driving is basically when the car takes you from one destination to the other without needing your assistance. Autopilot does need your assistance, but autopilot does come with the car and full self-driving is an extra $10,000. 
If you're interested in learning more about the autopilot features that come with the vehicle, you'll want to check out my autopilot review video. I will link it above. You should also buy a Tesla Model 3 because Tesla built the Model 3 to be one of the safest cars ever built. The NHTSA's test showed that it had the lowest probability of injury of all cars the agency has ever tested. Because of its battery, which is located at the bottom of the car, it has a low center of gravity, which gives it extreme strength and large crumple zones. The NHTSA's test gave the Tesla Model 3 five stars in frontal crash, side crash, rollover, and as an overall score. Along with the car being as safe as they come in a crash, the Tesla comes standard with safety features that will also help avoid accidents. These include forward collision warning, lane departure warning, crash imminent braking, and dynamic brake support. Tesla also has live driving visualization, meaning the screen will show a 3D rendering of the cars and road around you while you drive. Now let's talk about the Tesla app that connects to your phone. Now I think it needs to be recognized because it is pretty advanced. Now some cars do have some of these functions that I'm about to talk about, but Tesla has done a really great job of integrating all of them inside of this app. The app allows you to do standard operations like open the trunk, lock the car, and monitor and control charging. But it also does so much more. The Tesla app acts as your phone key and can be used instead of a standard key. You're also able to set a max speed limit for the car in case you have a child driving it and you don't want them to go too fast. You can also send a location to navigate to from your phone so that you don't have to type it again once you get in the car. And then my favorite function, the climate function. You can set the car temperature to whatever you like before getting in and can also turn on the heated seat if it's cold out. The next reason to buy a Tesla Model 3 is because of how customizable it is. You can customize your car to drive exactly how you like it. For the driving settings, you can adjust the display brightness, interior ambient lights, acceleration speed, steering mode, stopping mode, and autopilot settings. That this helps you get your car driving exactly how you like it. I personally like being able to adjust the settings because the car, when it's in its standard mode, drives extremely fast and the acceleration is really fast. It almost feels like you're on like a roller coaster ride and it makes me just a tad sick. So I love that you can change this function. I like to put mine on chill mode and when I do that, it doesn't make me feel queasy and it just makes the drive exactly how I want it. Then we have the Tesla supercharging network. Tesla has over 20,000 charging locations worldwide. Tesla superchargers are fast and are usually a 150 kilowatt or 250 kilowatt charger, making charging relatively fast. Tesla added more than 700 charging stations in 2020 with plans to continue to expand their network in 2021. Other EV car manufacturers make their cars use other networks such as ChargePoint and Electrify America. ChargePoint has over 114,000 stations worldwide, but a lot of them are low voltage, which does mean that it will take longer to charge. The closest charge point charger to me is only 7.2 kilowatts, so that would take my car forever to charge on, um, but it really does depend on where you live. The final reason to purchase a Tesla Model 3 is because it keeps getting better even after you purchase the vehicle. And that is because Tesla does offer continuous updates throughout the year to keep making your vehicle better. Tesla does take the data that it's using from when you're driving and then autopilot in order to analyze what's going right and what's going wrong and make adjustments. I don't think that any other car manufacturer on the market can say the same thing. The Tesla Model 3 is a fantastic car in its design and functionality. If you're interested in learning more about Teslas, you'll definitely want to subscribe to my channel as I post videos every Thursday and Saturday. If you found this video useful, please also give me a like down below. That really helps out my channel. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.